Good morning. Today I'd like to show you this interactive card I made um, using the new Adventurous Journey stamp set and Oceanfront stamp set. The Oceanfront is in our January to June 2022 mini catalog and Adventurous Journey is in the 2022 annual catalog. This is Kathy from the Backyard Stamper and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use two pieces of Knight of Navy, and these measure five and a half by eight and a half, so it's half a sheet of cardstock, and a piece of Pacific Point, and this piece is five and a half by seven and a quarter. And I'm going to bring out my Simply score tool and we want to make these little um, hinges. So this is a diorama card and it is going to fold flat for the mail and this will be in a um, oversized envelope that you might have to make yourself. <laughs> Alrighty, so on the eight and a half inch side, we're going to score at five eighths and one and a quarter and turn it all the way around and do the same thing. Five eighths, one and a quarter. And we're going to do that on both of the Knight of Navy sheets. Five eighths and one and a quarter. Okay, we're done with the Simply Scoring tool. We can put that away. And so here are my two pieces. And if you think about it, um, these two pieces are the front and the back. And so you've got your fold, it's gonna fold up and back and there's your tab, and we're gonna do that on both sides. The uh, Pacific Point piece is kind of like um, the peanut butter, and the Knight of Navy is the bread. So those are sandwiched, sandwiching in the uh, Pacific Point. That piece is not scored. All right, so now what we wanna do is figure out our, our um, decorations. So this is New Horizons Design a Series paper, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's in our January to June mini catalog, which will be retiring at the end of June while supplies last. So stock up on this paper. <clears throat> the paper has all sorts of realistic um, designs that you can add all sorts of things to to make it a scene builder. I mean, it's just fabulous paper. And then the back side is um, marvelous or uh, more watercolory. You just can't go wrong with this paper. All right, so I have picked um, this sheet here as my main, my main piece. And I also, I needed two pieces. So these are six by six. So you're gonna need one full sheet. And then this, we're gonna make our little side, side panels with. 
and let me um so that's our outside then for our inside for our uh, rapids that our kayaker is going down we're going to use this waves of inspiration the waves of the ocean sorry designer series paper sadly this is no longer um, available but um, I, I couldn't resist these this is so realistic to the rapids in my card so um, in, I know many of you hoarded this paper while it was available so we're going to cut this into six by six. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it at five and a half. And I actually like this bottom piece, I think, with the rapids. So let me, um, Nope, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's also good. You can't go wrong. All right, so there's my five and a half. So I have a piece that's five and a half tall and six inches wide. All right, so that's going to be the back of my card. And this can get adhered down. What you want to do first, though, this is just a little tip, is, you know, make sure that there's none peeking out of the back. So that cut pretty straight and true. So we'll go ahead and, and this here, um, this side here is also, I mean, this is another designer paper that you just can't go wrong with. It's so beautiful. All right. What I'm going to do with this paper is put it between my score lines. And I haven't scored yet, and you'll see why in just a second. So I touch that down, make sure nothing's peeking, and go ahead and smooth that out. Now, with your bone folder, go ahead and kind of push, push it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my scoring real crisp with these. And do the other side here. Okay, see how I've made a little stand here? And then uh, my, my um, Pacific point is going to go just like that. Okay, you see, I think you can see it coming together. Next, we're going to uh, we have to build our diorama. And I'm using the layering diorama dies. And what I'm going to need to do is cut the diorama with the top, the second layer. So this designer series paper is cut with one and it's popped up. You can see it peeking through there. And so there's one, two, three of the diorama shapes. So we'll get those out. I've got glue on my fingers. <laughs> All right, so we've got one, two, and three. All right. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring back in my rapids here and I want to put the smallest one is um, the one that has um, the opening that our kayaker will go in. So if you look at that one, 
and you can position your rapids any way you want. I like that little splash there and we can get a lot of it if we turn it like that. Um, so, and what I did ahead of time is I colored my kayaker. So the kayaker is from this set here, Adventurous Journey, and I've already colored her in because um, this tutorial is really about how to make the uh, diorama. So see, I want the kayaker to kind of fit in pretty well like that. And then you've got the white, and that looks really good. Okay. So I have that one there. And I'm not cutting this piece. I was just using that to get my shape. So I've got this one here. Oops, I forgot one thing. This is a six by six, and we're gonna trim off um, this half inch. So hold on one minute while I do that. And I'm gonna cut it from the top because I really want the greenery at the top. It makes me feel like I'm on the edge of a cliff at the forest edge looking down in, onto the kayaker going through the rapids pretty good visual don't you think okay so now I have this and this and again I want to make sure that oh, and it looks like I need to do a little trim it's better to do your trimming now than um, later so let's put that back in I definitely did not cut that straight Nothing showing. All right. So now this is going to get the biggest shape here. And let's see, my other one, I wanted this shape to be like that. And that looks like that's right. So I'm going to just put that down with a little bit of post-it tape. Okay, and I'm going to run that through my machine. And here you go. So I've got my shape. Now, this is the outer side. This is gonna get popped up. So then I gotta take my next smallest shape and fit it in. And hold that there. Use my post it tape. Okay. And run that through the machine. So now I've got this piece and this piece. Oh, that looks good. And now I have to do my Pacific Point piece. To line this up, this one is only to the first score line here. So on the back, sorry, turn it the right way. I'm just gonna let it set between my two score lines. Make sure it's straight and lay it down. Nothing's attached yet. I'm just placing my, my pieces here. 
And then I got this one. Got my post-it tape out ahead of time this time. <laughs> okay, hold it down. Whoops. All right. Okay, and run that one through the machine, my stamp and cut emboss machine, and here you go. So now I've got my first layer, my second layer, and my third layer, and here's my, my rapids. So you can kind of see how it's coming together. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere this. Now remember, this is my, this is where the adhesive is gonna go. So I wanna, whoops, which way did I have my, Okay, side number one is done. And then to get it to flatten out on the other side, just tuck that under. So see, make the hinge. And we're going to put adhesive on this one. Before I, um, I'm sorry, uh, glue that down. I want to just get that little bit of adhesive off right there. There. All right, now let me just turn it and work this way. So on this one, I've got my, I closed it down so that this should fit right on top. And I'm going to double check it from the back, and that looks nice and straight. Got a little dab of glue there, let me move my mat over. Okay. So see, now, and when you close it each way, you want to just make sure you don't have a buckle in it. Standing up, there's my window. I think it goes this way. <laughs> and our kayaker is going to be inside riding those rapids. Oof, that looks great. Okay, so now we've got to do this part is going to go fold and burnish on the score lines. And make your stand. That's going to go just like that. And you can go ahead and hear. What I want to do first, though, before I adhere that glue piece down, let's put this piece on because it'll be a little easier to manage all the dimensionals um when the blue the night of navy is flat so i'm 
going to do is grab my dimensionals. Oops, here they are. And load them up. Now you, you don't have to worry about getting too close to, uh, or just don't get within like an eighth of an inch of the edge and you will be all fine. The other way you can do it is if you're worried about it is put the dimensionals on the navy part. This one, sorry, I'm not making any sense here. This is the biggest piece. So you don't have to worry about going too close to the edge here. It'll be just fine. But I am going to be tucking some of my boulders. So you do want to leave some of the room close to the immediate edge here like I think I'm going to move that one back it up a little so I can tuck a boulder there and let me move this one too and put that one down there because as you can see here on this one I tucked some boulders in on the Pacific Point layer and on the Knight of Navy layer just a couple behind and then the rest are on the front All right, here we go. And I think I can see this one poking out. So let me just turn that dimension off. Okay. Now I'm going to just take off all my backings. Bear with me. I did put a lot on. Anybody that's dimensional happy will love this card. <laughs> I know it's painful to watch, but it seems like it takes forever when you're on the camera, but in real life, I know it doesn't, <laughs> but it is painful to watch and I'm going as fast as I can with these dimensional backings. Almost there. All right, get rid of these. Okay. And now I'm going to here's my my layer. I've got it facing the right direction. I'm going to go ahead and flatten it while I put my dimensionals on the greens at the top. Now this is where you're going to, this is the same size as the navy. So you want to get right up to that score line and along the top. But remember that you don't want to have any overhang there. Well, that worked out pretty good because I kind of dropped it on top of it a little bit. I'm going to just adjust a little bit on this side here. That looks good. It's coming together. All right, so now I'm ready for my adhesive here.
side here. The liquid glue really gives you so much flexibility when you're doing this kind of um, precise gluing. Let's just slide it around. All right, there's my diorama. And I got these so we can fold them back. It's going to go flat in my envelope this way. And, and then the back is available for a panel. Um, all right, now let's put some boulders on. And so the boulders came from my ocean set, ocean front. So I've got a big boulder and a little boulder. And what I did was I stamped in some soft suede, crumb cake, basic gray, smoky slate, and cut out a bunch. So I have just a bunch of boulders here. And what I'm going to do is put my kayaker in, just sitting there, so for placement purposes. The kayaker is colored with the new in colors, Paracrete Party, Sweet Sorbet, and then I used Mango Melody and um, Fresh Frisian Highland Heather mix and a little bit of the Sweet Sorbet on there. And uh, now for my boulders, what I want to do is I want to kind of place them so it looks like She's dodging them on the rapids here. But I also don't want to impede her because I'm going to put her up on a wobble spring. So how about like that? Here's my original. It looks like I came down, did some like that. on the night, the um, Pacific Point. And these are just uh, tomboed down, but what I'm gonna do is be very careful on where you put your adhesive. And don't worry about, I just got that little bit of glue there. I'll put a boulder there. Let's see here. Let me put one. Tucked in. There. There. Okay. And for this side. Just a second. Oh, that looks good. All right, now 
Let's do our next layer here, which is going to be... I only want a couple under the... in the Knight of Navy because there's not really that much space. So, like that. And I've got one there. Now to do the outside, uh, let's see here, what have we got? We've got... And it can come over the edge because we're going to, remember, we're going to fold it down a little bit to fit it in the envelope. Coming together. And this one, I'm going to pop up with a dimensional, I think. Actually, I think I want this one popped up, too. <laughs> so we'll put our dimensionals where that glue was. This one back. Put this one here. Nice. And then we'll need one that's popped up over here, like that. So sometimes I put the dimensionals right on the piece, and then I don't have to worry about did I get it right or not. And do I want a dark boulder or the light one? I think I want the dark one. Like that. Right there. I've got a little buckle right there, but I think it'll be all right after I because I lifted it and restuck that down. I'll shove a dimensional under there. All right, now for our kayaker. So we're done with that. And to just make it extra fun, I have these uh, little wobble spring. So I'm going to peel off. Let me put my glue back together. kayaker can have some movement, which is always fun. Okay. <laughs> there. Oh, that looks good. All right, so we're almost done here. Um, what I need to do is my greeting. So now, for this part here, in the Adventurous Journey set, we have the words, wishing you an adventurous birthday or a journey. I picked journey. 
and I put them on the block together. And now I have my scrap paper. And what I'm gonna do, because that's photopolymer, I'm going to um, use my pierce mat if I can find it. Right here. Okay. And we're gonna stamp that in. Whoops, pardon me. Timber, my desk space is very small. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stamp it in Pacific Point. On a piece of basic white scrap. And I'll set that aside just for a minute. And then I'm gonna take my uh, Knight of Navy. And I have um, the scrap from where I cut off at the top. And what I'm going to do is, is uh, put my adventurous on there. So I move this here just for a second. All right, that little pop of orange is going to look really good with this. Um, or it's pale papaya. And we're going to do it at the bottom. And I'll trim across the top. Oh, that looks good. And see how I got a little bit of the words? We'll just trim that right off. I set that aside to clean it. That's got to dry just for a minute. And okay, pretty close. Now that's going to go right there. You see, I got to trim a little bit on the bottom. And because the letters are block style, it's easy to just follow the letters to get this straight. I've got like a little bump in the middle there. There. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that down, but I'm gonna use temporary tape because I wanna pop that up, but I also want it included in my die cut, so you'll see what I mean here. This is removable tape. And I'm gonna line that right up. Okay, get that out of the way and let's bring in my mini boss. Uh, my die here is from the seasonal labels dies and this carried over from last um, winter's it's got great Great dies. It goes with the pine cone set. It's one of my favorites. All right, let's make our little sandwich. I've got my little plate one, plate two, and my scrap. And I'm going to put that right on there.
and my post-it tape. When the magnetic plate comes out for the mini, I will be very excited. <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about post-it notes or post-it tape to hold your dies. Okay, you put it in till the handle moves on its own. Oh, there's a piece of tape. And crank it through. It's pretty easy. Oops. Okay. And I love that this is just folds up and goes on the corner of the desk, especially since I'm working on small space. Okay, and because we use the temporary tape, my adventurous is right where I want it to be. And I do want to pop that up, so I'm going to just remove it with because it's the temporary tape. And put on my dimensionals. And for this strip here, I found it, um, it works really great if you use one of your edges. And it keeps it from sagging. Okay, and then I've got my piece here and I'm just going to line my letters back up. Now I can see where I've die my die cut is too to line up. Doesn't that look great? And here's my kayaker. Now what I'm going to do is pop that up like that. And I did I, I just realized I forgot these here. So let me do that really quick. So I'm going to use my um, second piece of 6x6, six six, and I need to cut a 5 8 inch, two 5 8 inch pieces. So I'm going to, there's one, and two. Oh, that one definitely was too fat. Let me get another one. <laughs> Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm using a big trimmer, which is why I can't can't get it right. Let me just try one more time here. This is supposed to be five eighths, so it should be right there. And it is a hair too long. There. Oh my goodness. All right. There's my other piece here. And what you're going to do is trim it at um, five and a half, because this is a six by six piece. And I don't like that other piece here, so let me cut this one more time here. so different what did I do different oh yeah I was right okay my goodness gracious all right there we go and let's chop off a piece at the top I'm so sorry <laughs> sometimes you know it looks funny and you can't figure out why and it was right all along 
Alrighty, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just adhere these here to finish them off, to finish off my, my piece. So we'll go ahead and I'll do that off camera because this is, you've been here very patiently and put that there. And I'm gonna pop that up. So I'll put a couple of dimensionals so I know right where it can go. Okay, there you go. Thanks for sticking with me today. <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And I know you have to make your own envelope and I'm sorry about that, but um, sometimes that's fun too, right? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Thank you. Bye now.